start from as little as £4.99 a week. Yes, all the magic of the cinema from £4.99 a week. Rent a Philips widescreen TV now with free delivery and free installation and claim your Disneyland Paris vouchers from Glenn's Hutchison, Robertson's and Stepek. You can't rent better, guaranteed. <laughs> for the biggest selection of career opportunities in a Scottish newspaper, Scotland's appointments in the Herald on Friday is just the job. Don't miss it. Your future. Scotland's future. For the new era. Only in the Herald, every Friday. An agonising case in this week's episode of The Dog Squad. More than a hundred of them across the road. Stay with me. We'll release the house to you as soon as we can, but it'll be some time yet. Come on. Uh, can I go in? I'm sorry. Did I really do all right today? Yeah, you were terrific. I saw a few of them pendants. No one bought the books, though. Couldn't even give them away. Yeah, that wasn't your fault. A lot of people ignored me. Well, it sounds now upstairs. They were negative. There's nothing you can do to counteract a closed mindset. Not on the street, anyhow. What do you mean? Well, if they came into one of our centres, then we get to know them. Find out their hopes, their needs. Why bother? Because you have to start from where they are. Some aren't really negative, just ignorant. You're always talking about positive and negative. What do you mean? It's all in the book. Yeah, I know, it's just... Well, it's a bit... Intellectual? Boring. <laughs> You don't mind me saying that, do you? No, no, I appreciate your honesty. It's one of the things I admire about you. You don't admire me? Yeah, of course I do. Why? Because you radiate positive thoughts. There are negative influences in this house, but you overcome them. Well, Nian can be a bit of a pain, but Ashley's all right. You know, you've done wonders with him. No, he's done stuff for me. But don't undervalue yourself, Zoe. You're the deep thinker. You've got to try and take him with you. He was talking to me. I know. I said he was going to be all right. These things happen. I just can't believe I'm not going to see him again, Kev. There was so much we were going to do together. I tried to drink this. I don't want to. Shall I warm you some soup? I don't think she can eat. I just want Des. I just want my husband back. Just going out for a bit. Shall I come with you? No, no, I won't be long. I just need a bit of air. Martin told me. Yeah, the cabin's been full of it. I thought you would have heard. I've been out all day. No, I saw the police, but I mean... He's terrible. He wouldn't have thought anyone would have been murdered in this street. None of us escapes being touched by evil. Are you all right, Nick? Yeah, why shouldn't I be? Oh, I thought it might bring back memories of your dad. No, it doesn't. You're all right. It does me. I think that we should co-join and commend ourselves to Nirab. Why? He deserves our intercession on his behalf, no matter what sort of a man he was. Oh, look, Des was a good bloke, all right? Did you know him well? No, did you? Martin and I were friends with Des for years. I don't think he needs your intercession. Let's join hands. Not me. I'm gonna work. Don't leave me here with this. Ignore her. Like you. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. Can you persuade Wayne, Mrs. Bishop? Oh, persuade him to do what? Well, it's our Spanish class tonight, and he doesn't want to go. I'm no good at languages. Well, not that one, anyway. Whereas I really enjoy it. Well, you don't have to do everything together. Yeah, you want to, really. That's the whole idea. I want to do something different tonight, something a bit livelier. How do you feel about Gilbert and Sullivan? I've still got tickets for the Pirates of Penzance. Ah, well, now, it is for charity, isn't it? Uh, yes, um, it starts at 7.30. Well, I, I would like to go. What do you think, Hayley? Well, I'd rather do Spanish, but, uh, yeah, it would be a change. Oh, well, <coughs> we'll have two then, please, Mrs Bishop. Uh, front row, if you've got them. Um, they're not numbered, but I'm sure there'll be seats in all parts. Oh. I'm told over and over how good it is. Deirdre loved it. I 
That'll be ten pounds, please. Oh, ten. <clears throat> yes. You all right, love? You've been crying. Don't know why I've got so upset about it. He was a friend. He was a good mate, was Des. Being pregnant just seems to make everything seem so much more sad. You think of all the awful things that could happen to our babies. Nothing's going to happen to our children. We don't know that. Look what's going on in the street. This is what they've been born into. Nobody is going to harm our children. We'll look after them. We'll build a fence around them if we have to. I just want to keep them safe from accidents. Bad people. Crime. War. We won't be going to war. Can you see me in a tin hat? I'm being deaf. No, you're not. You're being protective because you're going to become a mother. It's only natural. It'll be so tiny. Not after they've had a few good dinners down on they want. Every time I pick them up, I'm going to be frightened of dropping them. You never dropped, Katie, did you? And anyway, up until about three months, they bounce. They don't. Do they not? Well, I'm glad you told me that. Don't be soft. You be as... Upset as you like, for Des. Everybody in the street will have a thought for him tonight. But don't you worry about them children. They're going to be born into a good home where their mum and daddy were going to love them. What else could they need? Nothing. Nothing. Hi, how's it going? Well, no complaints so far. No, neither have I. In fact, quite the opposite. <laughs> Good. Rushing back to your girlfriend tonight? No, there's a house full of people. <laughs> oh, I couldn't stand that. I'm all for a quiet life. Oof. How'd you get one of those, then? Easy. I live on my own. No boyfriend? <laughs> I haven't had a boyfriend since I was a student. <laughs> and I kicked my husband out a couple of years ago. Kicked him out? Well, it was mutual. I kicked him, he kicked me. The one who got to the door first left. Sounds like fun. Anyway, enough of that. What I was going to say was, can you come for a drink tonight? Yeah, I think so. I don't want to force you. Just be that lot, the usual crowd? No, you won't be forcing me. I, I'd like to come. She won't mind? No. Your girlfriend? Oh, uh, no. She wouldn't mind. Good. See you later. Will you be all right? Yeah. You go home. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? No. I'll stay here. Des isn't so far away. All right, but I'll come first thing. No, it doesn't matter. There's formalities to see to and people to tell. I suppose so. He went over to the house. I went after him. The police will work it all out. But why did they attack him? I don't know. There was three of them. Why didn't he just run away? I know. I mean, Des wouldn't have given chase. They wouldn't have been scared of him. The police will find out what happened. I don't care what happens. I just want him back. I'm never going to see you again, Kevin. <laughs> I'll never see you again. <laughs> Oh, my God.
The new Electrolux HEPA power is a powerful bagless cleaner. Even the neighbors will notice. The new generation of bagless cleaners from Electrolux. Irritating? If only you'd gone to Global. It's America's smash hit comedy. I like her. Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore, really good. The Wedding Singer. Get it first time or get it free. That's the Global Guarantee. <sighs> Hello, I'm Phil. It's all my best work on one album. No, Funnily enough, it's called Phil Collins Hits. Here's what these editors have to say about Christmas at home base. A living tree gives a really warm welcome and looks beautiful with these great value decorations. An ideal gift for that Christmas stocking. Crystal and glass effects are really big this year. This lovely wreath will add perfect seasonal style. There are dozens of great value Christmas ideas at home base. At Curry's now, Sky Digital Satellite TV brings you Britain's widest choice of quality channels. Curry's, the digital choice for you. Excuse me, love. What? I suppose a quick save's out of the question. <laughs> Peak Freens Biscuits, $2.99, but only if you're quick. Quick save, because we're cheap, you're cheerful. I do like to be in control of my money. For total control over what you spend, the word is Vodafone. Pay as you talk. The new 4-in-1 multi-sander from Black & Decker. One, it's a random orbital sander. Two, turn the key and it's a finishing sander. Three, it's a detail sander. And four, it's a really clever contour sander. The versatile four-in-one multi-sander, only from Black & Decker. For the first time ever on video, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cats. Now the memory can be yours to own. The wonder. The magic. And the spectacle of the world's best-loved musical, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cats. Own it on video for the very first time. Major General. You've got a lovely voice, right? <laughs> you know, I thought light opera would be boring, but it was so funny, wasn't it? Well, I think some of the laughs were unintentional. Yeah, well, that's amateur theatricals for you. If the scenery doesn't fall down, at least once you feel cheated. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Roy. Oh, I never noticed. We were reliving last night's dramatic event. Mm -hmm. You were what? Pirates of Benzance, we bought tickets off Mrs Bishop. And money very well spent. I've not had a laugh like that in a long time. So you haven't heard the news, then? What news? You know where we are, love. Thanks, Jack. If, if there's anything you want. People have been very kind. Right. Tell Vera not to worry. Yes. She's shocked. She can't stop crying. Neither can I. See you, Bobby. Take care. I'll walk as far as the rovers with you, Jack. See you then a bit, Nasty. Look, Mum, the police are going to be here soon. I know. So, um, what are you going to tell them? I mean, are you going to back me up? And it was an accident. It was nothing to do with me. Who was 
was your fault! It wasn't my fault. He should have just kept out of the they way. They were your friends! And they weren't. I told you I didn't know them. It was your doing, Tony. I didn't do anything. If he'd only stayed in the pub. He was helping you. Well, I didn't ask him to. He just barged in. God, what sort of a person are you? Look, all I'm asking is, is that you just don't mention certain things to the police. Why should I keep my mouth shut when my husband's dead? Because if you don't, they're going to lock me up and you don't want that, do you? I don't want you! I want Dad! 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 Sorry, no! no. Natalie, Natalie, stop, stop, stop! Look, you can't go in there. It's my home! Look, come back with me. <laughs> I loved him, Kevin. I know you did. Should be honest. I want to go into Look, my house. He's not there. Come on. But it was my fault. It was all my fault. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't, Natalie. You're upset. <laughs> There's nothing there for you anymore. Come on. <laughs> Issues now. Okay. Zoe, you've been gone a long time. Yeah, um, I gave them all out. I'll accept this one. Oh, terrific. You must have walked miles. Yeah, I did. My feet killing me. Isn't that what we were just saying? You're so reliable, so tenacious. Tenacious. Once you start on something, you don't give up. You hang on. I didn't hang on to those. <laughs> You're like a breath of fresh air. You really make me laugh. Have any lunch? Uh, no, I just fancy sit down. Oh, sit here. Take your shoes off. Oh. What are you doing? I'm, I'm going to massage your feet. No, don't. Have you ever had your feet massaged before, Zoe? No. You'll enjoy it. It's very relaxing. It won't hurt, and you'll feel much better for it. Ben's our best healer. He's got special powers. I don't like people touching me. This is different. You'll hardly feel a thing. She shouldn't really be talking to you. The doctor's told her to rest. He gave me some tablets to help me sleep, but I can't. I'm very sorry, Mrs. Barnes. I'm only here because it's absolutely necessary. We need to know what happened. I've told you. We need your mother's version. Be the same as mine, won't it, Mum? Mrs. Barnes? Just tell them what you remember. It was all so quick. I've already told you. What happened? There were three of them. They wanted Des's money from the track. He said it wasn't in the house. They didn't believe him. They hit him. And he fell down. Did you recognise him? No. I'd never seen them before. And that's all I can remember. Ben. Oh, Um, I'm sorry if I was funny with you before. Oh, it's all right. Think nothing of it. Really, I've never heard of having your feet massaged. Mm -hmm. Works though, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel a lot better. You look so much more relaxed, Zoe. You're very, very pretty when... When what? I was going to say, when you're not frowning. Well, you've not got much to frown about now, have you? No. We think you're doing really well, Zoe. In fact, we'd like to reward you. Oh, that's all right. I don't need a reward. No, no, no. It's our way of saying thank you for all the hard work that you've done and, and honouring you. Honouring me? Can you stay here this evening? Yeah, sure. Good. You tell her then. We'd like you to attend our team meeting. We don't normally invite new members until they've been with us a few months, but we think you're ready now. Ready for what? Some extra responsibility. You don't have to accept if you don't want to. It's up to you. Would you like to take part? Really be one with us? Yeah, OK. Oh, I hope she'd say yes. I'm so pleased. <laughs> if you remember anything else, Mrs Barnes. I was scared. 
I do understand. I just froze. There may be some detail you recall. Everything helps. Yeah. I'll show you, Alpha. Thanks. That's the last lie I tell for you, Tony. Shh. I thought could hear you. Always concerned for your own safety. I didn't kill Des. It was a heart attack. Get out of this house before I call him back and tell him just what kind of a son you really are. I'm the son you made me. Oh, God forbid. We're not that different from each other. Get out of my sight. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Suits me fine. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm okay. Has Tony upset you? No. It was just that talking to the inspector. I want to go and lie down. That's all right. Kev, this won't be on my own. She should be home by now. She'll be holding hands with weirdos. Yeah, they're probably trying to save our souls. Oh, good. Maybe our lottery numbers will come up. <laughs> you can bet they want the cut if they do, though. Our money do not matter to them. All they care about is Nirab. Do you think you should go round and bring her home? Oh, do what you want. Well, Judy Malik don't like him. Well, I could say the same about chocolate-covered raisins. Well. I don't like them either. You don't have to talk so sometimes, Leanne. Hmm? Me? Have you spoken to Zoe lately? No, whenever I see her, she just looks blank. Yeah, well, she always was a bit stupid. She's not stupid. Would you work eight hours a day for nothing? She gets paid. Yeah, a few bob. She'd be better off doing a paper round of summer, and she'd mix with better people. Like you, you mean? Yeah. Ashley, I know you're worried about it, but don't take it out on Leanne, all right? She would ask him for it. It's my negative energies, they just come pouring out. Anyway, how come you know so much about it all of a sudden? Well, I have to talk to somebody, seeing as you're always fiddling around with your test tubes. I'm worried about her. She'll get fed up with it, mate. That's what I keep telling myself. She gets fed up with everything. In the end, it'll be between you and Nira. It's only about yet. No. What about Natalie? She's still in bed. She said you'd gone to talk to Martin Platt. Yeah, I did. I thought he might know a bit more about, you know, what happens to the body next. What did he say? Same as Sergeant Reynolds. Postmortem's carried out today. Police get the results tomorrow. Not much, really. At least Natalie will be able to bury him. Yes, he won't. Not till the coroner's made his report. When will that be? Martin didn't know. Said it could take a while. That'll just drag everything out. I know. She's upset enough now. Will she be able to cope? I don't have to, won't she? I'll go and see if she's awake. Break it to her gently. Bring her downstairs. She should eat something. She needs to keep strength up. She's not there. What? The room's empty. She's gone. Well, she hasn't left since I've been here. I'd have heard. I go to Marcy's for half an hour. Oh, she won't be far. There's no effort to go. She's in a bad way. Anything could happen. Come on, let's find her. Are you ready, Zoe? Yeah. Place yourself in the safe hands of Nira. Okay. Strip off the lies and deceit. All the negative ways of the past. Laziness. Indulgence. Dishonesty. Look closely at yourself. Know who you really are. To go inside, we must be pure in thought and deed and word. Cleanse your mind, Zoe. Make it a clean base for Nirab. Are you really and truly ready, Zoe? Yeah. Not down by the canal. Not all around Inkerman Street and Rosamond Street. Kev, she's in the car. 
Daddy's car, look. She wasn't there a minute ago. Don't startle her. Going through Des's things. They won't let me in the house. Yeah, I know. So I'm staying here. You can't. It's freezing. This is the last picture we had taken together. There's Des's identity card from the track. Yeah. It's all I've got left of him. It's all there is to hold. It's a piece of card. It's nothing. There's nothing else. There is. You're not on your own. I want Des. Other people care about you, Natalie. I want Des. Come back home with me. No. It's too cold to stay out here. Oh, Kevin, leave me alone. Please, Natalie, we can't leave you on your own. But I am on my own. Next tonight, an old flame poses a difficult dilemma for D.S. Beach, who himself causes problems for his colleagues in the bill.